So, um, welcome to episode one of, uh, I'm not currently sure what this is going to be called, um, there's my dog chilling behind me, as you can see, um, this is no pretty setting, um, I'm currently sat on the front room floor, um, and yeah, this is number one episode, so, I'd like to make a special shout out to um, Matt Kelly from Space Goods, um, it was something that I was toying with um, for a long time. Uh, but I decided after seeing Matt Kelly's series about building space goods um, that it looked fun and also to be able to look back and document um, what we're doing would be cool. And also on top of that, I think it's going to help me be more accountable. So if you see me looking off to the left or you see the screen changing colour as it gets brighter and darker, that is because I'm reading off um, my laptop, just some notes that I've made. So today is the 5th of January. The plan is to post a video um, every single Friday, so record it on Thursday night, um, and it'll be Friday, and it's gonna be like Matt Kelly does, one shot, talking to camera, no edit. Yeah, I'm not gonna make any funky graphics or nothing. Um, nothing that takes too much time, um, and this will mean that I'll be able to stay consistent, and yeah, you're gonna get a look into kind of what we're doing, um, who I am, um, why we make the decisions that we do as a brand, um, for, yeah, for everyone that doesn't know, um, I run the brand, boys get sad too. Um, we can maybe go into a later video as to why I started the brand and stuff, but for now, we're just going to kick it off. So, it's the 5th of January, um, like everyone, um, although I run the UK's greatest brand, um, I still felt super anxious, um, basically going back to work. Um, I didn't want to go back to work. Uh, the Christmas holidays didn't, still feel, didn't feel long enough, and you have that kind of glum feeling of like, oh. Like there's so much stuff to sort when I go back to work and things had built up. Um, looking off to my left again to see what the notes was. Um, we had an unbelievable end to the year. Um, sort of after Black Friday, it was chaos. Um, and I was working like 18 hour days for like two or three weeks. Um, I literally was like, when I closed the office on the 23rd of December, I literally like stopped what I was doing when it got to five o'clock, put my stuff down and left. Um, and when I returned, it was all <laughs> as I'd left it. Um, I just couldn't bring myself to do anything more. I was so tired. I literally slept for days. Um, I did nothing over the Christmas holidays. There's Tank moving, wants to get in shot. Um, I literally did nothing over the Christmas holidays just because I couldn't bear to do anything. Um, and yeah, we were just so busy and obviously so grateful to all you guys' support, so grateful that we are in this position. But yeah, it was just the hardest experience of my life for sure and I had to rig dig really deep to get it to work, to, to get all the work done. Um, I've written what was the biggest issue of last year. Um, if you haven't already worked it out, lack of manpower was one of the biggest issues. Um, our team was just too small for the business that we are running um last year there was two members of staff full-time other than me so three of us full-time um and one of them then people who are now no longer with us but they were with us last year worked two days in the office and three days at home um, and the three days at home just didn't work for us i needed someone on logistics in the office the full week um, that person decided that um, the, the, the travel to and from work no longer work for them um, so we have had to get a replacement person um, for short notice and then we'll probably be hiring at some point for someone in logistics um, warehouse operative um, so yeah the team will be growing very soon um, and also lack of organization um, I've got no real business experience um, I'm learning everything as I go and although I feel like I've done a great job to get it to this point with no money um, I'm now in a very fortunate situation where I have a great brand um, and it's important that I have a high level of organization um, and I currently don't so that is my new year's resolution to myself is to be more organized um, and to yeah to just be more organized and by being more organized I'll be a better businessman I'll run a better brand and I'll provide a better service to our customers and our supporters um, by doing so. So, what changes am I going to make? 
In December, I took on an advisor. So I'm not going to mention who the advisor is right now. No reason. I just think it will give you guys maybe something to think about. Um, and potentially we'll get him in a video later down the line. Or, do you know what I mean? It'd be something interesting information to give it another time. Um, so I took an advisor on in December. Uh, the person that we took on has high level brand experience, uh, has worked and continues to work with huge brands um, right at the top of the tree, um, has probably been there and done it all. Um, and I'm very fortunate um, that it's someone that I made contact with some time ago. We were kind of um, some, someone that reached out, loved the brand. We kind of become friends. I had a few like convos, was giving me some advice, informally meeting uh, for dinner every now and then, like kind of giving me little gems of advice here and there. Um, and yeah, as I said, such a busy year. Knew I had lots of work to do. Knew I wanted to make lots of changes to grow the brand further. Um, reached out to him. We spoke about it. Um, and I've been able to source unbelievable um, information, help, support, um, guidance of, you know I mean, an employee that we may have had to spend hundreds of thousands of pounds on to get on board, but taking them on, uh, do you know what I mean, and advising me capacity so we're able to do it at, do you know what I mean, uh, an, an affordable way, essentially. So we'll be able to get that advice that, do you know I mean, brands will pay hundreds of thousands of pounds for, but they'll be able to guide me to make the, the right changes and the right decisions versus actually having to get like a CEO full time to come and take my role. So they're going to help me be a better businessman um, and run a better brand. I hate saying the word businessman. It feels kind of eggy. Um, I'm, I don't really feel like a businessman. They'll help me be a better creative director. That's the phrase I'm looking for. Um, help me be a better creative director and help me run the brand in the best way possible. So that's currently the number one change that we've kind of made. Again, just looking off to my side to look at my notes. Please excuse me. Um, why have I taken this person on? Um, because the main thing to me is that the brand is successful more than anything else. Um, I don't really have very much experience. I've got myself in a position where I run, and again, I'm saying it again, an amazing brand. Um, I didn't mean to set up a brand that was so good. It was kind of an accident. Um, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't be taking full advantage and taking what I've achieved seriously. Um, and the number one thing for me is this brand genuinely does help lots of people. Um, with positivity, with reaching out, with mental health support, helps people with lots of stuff. And the worst and unthinkable thing I could think of was that I make mistakes. I'm very conscious of this. I make mistakes or I do things that mean the brand fails or, do you mean? I don't know. That this brand ceases to exist for a mistake I make. So, taking on someone like this, an advisor who has literally been there and done it with multiple brands, managing budgets way in excess of what we, we're dealing with, um, will give us the best chance for growth, for success, and to be the best versions of ourselves, which is the most important things for me, more than anything else. I want to reach as many people as possible. I want shops in London. I want shops in the States. I want, do you know what I mean? I want touch points with as many supporters as possible. I want as much product on the roads. Do you know I mean, so people can talk about it and spark conversation. And, and do you know what I mean, in order to do that, we need a successful brand um, with longevity. And to do that, I need as much advice and help as possible. And it's also helped that it's coming from one place. It's, it's very difficult. Sometimes you get lots of opinions from lots of different people to collate that all together and get a good understanding of it. Whereas what we're going to do now is we're going to have one person and other people as well, but one main person advising me weekly um, through meetings on kind of what we're doing, how we're doing it and helping me plan and forecast for the future. So that is why... Um, things that are currently in the works. Now, it's nearly 10 minutes this video, so I reckon we should polish off on this. Um, things that are currently in the works. So, two main things that are currently in the works, other than 
planning for this year with um, our advisor is we're currently going through a website rebuild. So I wasn't happy with the speed of the website and Black Friday really showed that chink in our armour. Lots of people were struggling to check out. Um, and the only suggestion that worked was to tell them to keep refreshing the page. Kind of felt a little bit like Supreme telling people to refresh the page and try and check out, but it genuinely was happening. We had so many customers trying to check out during Black Friday that our, our checkout button just basically stopped working. Um, so people had to refresh the checkout button a couple of times before it became clickable. Weird. Um, I think it was probably because of the sheer traffic we had two or three months worth of traffic in the space of two or three days um, so yeah we have gone through a website rebuild this rebuild is 90% done and I'm liking it uh, the speed is a lot quicker um, it's a lot more usable uh, the presentation of photos um, the way that we transfer through the site again look tanks moving he's decided to set up now um, yeah I just like it um, and Hopefully you guys will too. Um, and there's also something else which I actually filmed last year towards the end of summer. Um, I went uh, to a studio, we, we hired a studio and I filmed a video on me for the website talking about like why I started Boys Get Sad 2. I just want it for the home page. So for first time customers or first time supporters or people just browsing, looking at the store, can go on there and see like who I am, why, I think I think that's the number one thing. Well, at that point, that's the number one thing. Like, when people come on the site, I want them to understand why I started this. If you're an old time follower, you'll know my dad had clinical depression. I spent a lot of my younger years growing up supporting him. We'll leave that all for another time. But I wanted a video that easily explained that. You can write it right, but <laughs> it's kind of scary. It's like a Doctor Who villain. Um, we can communicate that through words, but it doesn't always work for everyone. So I wanted a little video that kind of explained that. So that is currently an editing process now. Um, yeah, other than that, um, it was just about getting in this week, um, sorting some of the stock, restocking the shelves, restocking stuff. We just restocked the flour and the block just before Christmas. Pizza pallets are arriving, so pizza design comes on pallets, just so we know, um, is arriving tomorrow. Um, so that will come in. Um, we'll restock that. So all the pizzas should be, all all the pizzas maybe bar some of the sizes that we couldn't get a fabric in, they'll restock. Um, so we, we've got a lot of stock right now, um, which is good, which is good. We had a lot of issues last year where people couldn't get what they wanted because we didn't have the stock. So we've got the stock, which is good. Um, and yeah, things will continue to restock uh, towards the beginning of the year. And I'm going to continue to keep you updated. So this is going to happen every week. Um, this video is now 13 minutes long. Um, and it's basically just going to be an insight into um, Boys Get Sad 2. It will upload Thursday night, Friday morning. And yeah, um, you're going to be able to get a good insight as to who I am, what the brand's about, why we're doing it, what's and, and, and mostly what's going on this week. So this week... Picking and packing parcels, sorting out any bits and bobs that weren't supposed to, weren't finished at Christmas. Um, I'm planning for this year with a new advisor, um, rebuilding the website and some videos being prepared. Uh, it's pretty busy, um, but yeah, hopefully this year is going to be great. I'm going to probably share with you in a video actually, like once I've got my plan together of like what we want to do this year, we're going to share with you what we're going to do this year so then we can be like did I hit it didn't I do it uh, these are the kind of goals I've got um, and then this video will help keep me accountable to make sure I'm really striving as hard as I can to reach the goals because once I've said it out to you guys you guys are going to be like oh well he said he wanted to do that and you guys can hold me accountable in the comments below you can say oh you said a couple of weeks back you were going to do that but then you just didn't mention it again like what happened to that so yeah but thank you so much to everyone that's watching. Um, and yeah, until next week, pff, signing out, Kyle Stanger, founder of Boys Get Sad 2. This is episode one. I've always wanted to say this. This is episode one of documenting life behind the brand. You've been, no, it's, this is episode one. My name's Kyle. You've been amazing. <laughs>
<laughs> You've been amazing. And until next time, um, yeah, I'm hopefully going to have a good next seven days and I'll report back to you as to what's gone on next week. <laughs>